Okay, today for bell work, we're going to review how to solve systems by graphing. So when you are finished filling this in, you want to make sure you attach the sheet, uh, staple it to your assignment for full credit. Okay, so we're going to start with the graph on the left and the system on the left. So when you look at a system, the first thing you're looking for is are both equations in y equals? And in fact, this one, they are both in y equals. So what we want to do is we want to find our slope and our y-intercept for each. So I'm going to do some of the work up above since there's not a lot of space on here. So for this one, I'm going to find my slope and I'm going to find my y-intercept up here. So on this first equation, remember the slope is what is next to x. So my slope here is negative one fourth. And to make things a little bit easier, we're going to take that negative And for now, we're always just going to put it with our top number. If we have to move it to the bottom, we can if it doesn't fit on the graph. Okay, our y-intercept is the number without the x. So that one's going to be three. Okay, now once we get that first thing, we want to put it on the graph down here. So the y-intercept is always where we start. So the little rhyme that we've been kind of going with is that b is free, right? So that one's a free point. So we're going to start by putting 3 on the y-axis, okay? So we're going to start, go to the y-axis, go to 3, and mark a dot. Okay, then we're going to use the slope to tell us where to go from that 3. So since that's negative 1, that means we're going to go down 1 now, and positive 4 means right 4. Okay, so from my purple dot here, I'm going to go down 1, and I'm going to go right 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm going to put a second dot. And then you're going to take a straight edge, whatever kind you've got, and you're going to put your pencil in the center of one of those dots, and then you're going to line your ruler up so that it goes through the center of the other one, then draw your line through the graph. It's important that you do that correctly because when we do our system, we're looking for where they cross. And if your line isn't right, then your final answer is not going to be right. Okay, now we're going to do the second equation in the system. So the second equation says y equals negative 3 over 2x minus 2. So again, that one's in y equals. I'm going to do the work for that right here. So m equals b equals. So in this case, m is my slope, and that is the number next to x. So it's negative 3 over 2. And again, I'm going to put the negative with the top number just to stay consistent. All right, now this is a minus 2, so that means my y-intercept is now a negative 2. And again, B is free. That's where we start our graph. So we're going to start with negative 2 on the y-axis. So we're going to go to negative 2. We're going to make a dot. And then we're going to use our rise and run to find out where to go. So it's negative 3. So that means we're going to go down 3 and right 2 from that blue, blue dot. So we're going to go down 1, 2, 3 and right 1, 2. There's my second dot. And now this is why doing um, the straight edge is so important because it we can see it's going to cross up here somewhere. We want to be exact. So put your pencil down. Put your straight edge on it. Okay. Make sure that we have this lined up perfectly. And even mine isn't, isn't wonderful exact. You can see, and it's because I'm using markers instead of pencils. So hopefully you're using a pencil you can see that these lines are going to cross right here at the end. And that is our solution. So the solution, the final answer we are looking for is this ordered pair right here. Okay. And it's always X comma Y. And the way we find it is by taking our fingers, right? We're trying to get here, put one finger on the Y axis and one on the X axis where you would start to find that. And Follow the line, and that's where it crosses. Well, if you follow it back, what are those numbers on there? This number is negative 5, and this number up here is 4. That is our final answer. Okay, let's do it again. Another example. 
So our second example, you can see right away, it's different because there aren't any fractions on it, okay? So let's start it the same way we started the last one. They're both in y equals, so I can start by finding slope and y-intercept. So let's go with the first equation. What is the slope in the first equation, and what is the y-intercept? Okay, so take a look. Oh, if you said the slope is negative 2, you would be correct because that one's next to the x. If you said the y-intercept is negative 4, awesome, you would be correct at that too. Now, remember, if we are graphing this, right, which we are, we want our slope to be a fraction because we need a rise and a run. So if it's not a fraction, you make it one by putting a 1 underneath it. Okay, where do we start this graph now? If you said negative 4, you would be correct. Great job. B is free. We're going to start here. All right? We're always going to start with our B value, and we're going to put a dot. It's a free dot. Okay? And then we're going to follow the directions of our slope to tell us where our next one goes. So we're going to go down because it's negative, down 2, and right 1. Okay, now here's a little problem. From negative 4, I can't go down 2. So I have two options. I can either estimate by going down 1, 2, about right here. Oh, let's, let me move that up. 1, 2, and going right 1. And I can estimate that it's going to be here. Your other option is to switch the negative sign that we had. We started with it on top. We can, if it doesn't fit, we can switch it to the bottom so that it is positive 2 over negative 1. And what that would mean is that we would go up 2 from our dot and left 1. We only do this if it doesn't fit. So if I had done that here, right, from this one, I would go up 1, 2, and left 1. And guess what? It makes the line exactly. So if you estimate it, it should land right where we have it here. Draw the line through it. Now, you can only you only have to do this if it doesn't fit on the graph. Otherwise, estimating it if it's a little bit off is okay. Okay, let's do the next one. So the next equation says y equals 4x plus 2. So let's go. Let's find our slope. Let's find our y-intercept. What is what? All right. What is the slope? If you said 4, way to go. You are correct. If you put y-intercept is 2, great job. You're the smartest. It is correct. Now, which one of those needs to be, always be a fraction when we're graphing? Is it slope or is it y-intercept? Oh, it's slope. Way to go. Yes, it is slope. So make that 4 over 1. Where do I get to put my first dot? Which dot is free? Oh, B is free. Way to go. Let's start here. Start at 2. Boop. Okay. Now, remember, this is a rise and a run. They're both positive this time. So I'm going to go up 4 and right 1. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Another one that I have to estimate. That's okay because it's not that far off. So up 4 and right 1 is going to land me right there. Take your ruler. Line up your dots, and you should oops, be able to see, oops, mine's a marker, oops, where those cross. Okay, so they can cross, they cross right here. You can see that spot that they cross at right there. Okay, so what's our solution? What is our answer to our uh, system? You take your fingers. Put one on the x-axis and one on the y and where they would meet and go back to those numbers, okay? So this number is negative 1, and this number would have been negative 2, and that's our final answer. Okay, hopefully you find that helpful. Make sure you attach to your assignment here so that you can get full credit. If you need help on the assignment, I will attach a second video, and you can watch that as well.